Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn reserved keywords of entities in HTML. By defaultly, like a less than and greater than such type of keywords will not be displayed at a, our HTML form. Where we are going to using for script tags. These are the tags are here like a making input text and body and HTML and all the things which are such are all are reserved in HTML program. Whereas till if you want to display like a see here I will show you yes such characters if you want to see the less than wherever you may require less than and uh, if it is in a mathematics uh, HTML page you are going to preparing yes it's absolutely required for logical operators end operators and less than, greater than, percentile, all the things are required. So, to displaying such characters and such entities in HTML, we'll see here, what is the entity name and how it should be displaced there. Like a entity either ampersand and entity name or an ampersand with hash entity number. By, by using these things, we'll get uh, such a information our display purpose. See, some useful HTML characters I have uh, shown you here in this document. Now, this is the result. It will come to the output. The description, what is the purpose we are using? And entity name, either name or entity number you can use to display a character in your HTML form. All right. Now, let's see. If you want to see like a present any space wherever you require in paragraph, just use ampersand n b s p or else ampersand hash 160 terminator with the semicolon. So you will get the space automatically. How it is? I will show you. A simple example I'll show you. Like uh, what I'm taking is in a paragraph here. Yes, this is a letter. This is the letter. I have a type one as a paragraph. Save it. Refresh. This is the letter here. And here, by default, I'm taking this much of space by the single tab. And letter two, within the having this much of space here, and type here with the letter two. Now let's save it and refresh. Where it is coming in the page? Without space, it is coming here. So ampersand, this is the entity of ampersand, ampersand, mbsp, colon, will give you offer the space like uh, this is the way you have to give as you try to apply how much space you require to take okay one character for one ampersand now let's see here this much if you want more you can create more copy paste save it refresh see Likewise, you can create your space by using this. If it is in a very less, like a one, two characters, you're going to, you are going to use this. That is a very much pretty easy. Okay. This is the way, if you want to see the less than, yes, you can use this thing to display the less than. Otherwise, it will throw you an error. And uh, here, I'm going to, before letter, I'm going to present less than. Now, let's see here. Save it. Refresh. See the less than, how it is pretty easy. Likewise, you find out all the entities greater than, ampersand, and double quotation mark, and a single quotation mark, send, pound, and euro, and copyrights, and registered trademark. Now, we'll see about the copyright again. It's a very important for all the websites. Now, now what I'm doing here, I'm taking one more paragraph, and uh, all rights are reserved. Copyrights, we can specify this word and uh, we can specify this symbol of uh, C. Yes, copy, paste. That's it. Save it and you will see the symbol here. That's it. How much pretty easy? So you can, these, these are the most popular words of the some useful HTML entity characters. Where you can use all the things and practice well wherever it is applicable. You try to write all these things and learn many 
if you want to if you are going to search in a, like a www um, like w3c.org the website will have many which are predefined and registered with html like a, such a type of character entries you can avail of it thank you for watching this lecture thank you